Hi, I'm Mike Premium. I run a talent management agency. Our attention has been drawn to a post made by Pick Milk for the usage of an intellectual property belonging to my client, Chukwu Emeka Emmanuel. And we are demanding for one billion naira for the trademarked phrase, something huge. And also, <clears throat> Gala Sausage Roll, you use the image of my client, Mr. Fon Ogasabinus, the investor's vibes, to drive to your brand without any form of payment or documentation, at least to show that we're in business. You never approached us, you never approached me. I am demanding for the sum of 100 million naira to be paid for the usage of the image of Mr. Funny. Yes. I have sent letters through my lawyers. Well, in this life, there's a bus for every bush. A lot of people have been underrating most of Nigerian artists, comedians, and intellectual property owners, but trust me, this time Sabinus, the investor, the popular Nigerian comedian that was recently awarded at the African Movie Award, has actually slammed a lawsuit against two giant companies in Nigeria. That is why Sabinus is trending. <laughs> I guess you people are guessing the company's right already because Sabinus has been trending. Sabinus have been trending on all the social media platforms, but. I will give you guys the full lowdown of the gist and how they infringed on the right of Sabinus. Yeah? Well, before I do that, if you're new here, thanks for coming to this channel. I appreciate your presence here. Kindly smash on that subscribe button and click the bell icon so that anytime I drop another video like this, you'll get a notification and you'll be the first to watch it. And if you're a returning viewer, man, you guys, thank you. If you like, say I will start doing giveaway for this channel. Thanks for always coming back. Well, don't forget to like this video and share it on all your social media platforms so that your friends will get to enjoy this awesome content. Now, back to what happened. What really happened between Sabinus and Pig Milk Company and Gala Company? A lot of people were cracking jokes with Sabinu that the investor won cash out this time around because he slammed lawsuit that is almost around 1.5 billion naira. Wait. Sabinus that was jokingly saying he's an investor. It seems <laughs> this guy has really invested in his intellectual property. Is this actually going to work out for Sabinus or not? Well, let's take the whole story. Let me go through the story first of all before, before we have a decent conversation and you guys should get ready with your comments. You should get ready with your comments. Immediately I'm done with this. You should drop it in the comment section. Let's have a very decent conversation. I know you guys are waiting to ask me a lot of things about this case of which I'm ready to answer. So let's go. Intellectual So let's go. Intellectual property theft. Sabinus threatened pig milk. Gala with 1.1 billion lawsuit. Well, this is coming from People's Gazette newspaper online. They are getting the figures mixed up, but let's get to the body of the story and know exactly what this is all about. It says, oh it reads Popular skit maker Chukwe Emeka Emmanuel, known as Oga Sabinus, has threatened to sue Fry's Land Food, the manufacturer of pig milk, over what he described as unauthorized use of his intellectual property. Wow. Well, let's go down, let's go down and see what we got up here. He also demanded 500 million naira from UAC Foods, makers of Gala for using his animated picture in an advert on their official Instagram page. What is wrong with this company? They should know better. Come on. In a pursuit notice by his legal representative, Stanley Aleke on May 27, the skit maker demanded 500 million from Pig Mill, from Pig Mill's manufacturer for using his trademark slogan, something hooch. Something what? Something Hooch, and we all know Sabinus is the one that created that slang. Wow, they used something hooch in a recent advert. Well, his legal representative also demanded another 500 million for emotional, physical, psychological, mental, tra mental trauma of our client. 
that our client have suffered for the trademark theft and the infringement of his intellectual rights property. On May 25th, the award-winning content creator similarly served UAC Food a 100 million pre-litigation lawsuit over a social media post that featured his that featured his animated picture captioned the way I calculate everything in my life. The way I calculate. Are you serious? This guy is really, 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 really played the wrong card for using Sabinu's intellectual property. Let's continue with the reading or with what I'm picking up here. The post, according to the comedian, gathered massive traffic and engagement and attracted huge Abina, huge followership to your page, which only happened because the picture of our client was used for the promotion and advert. We demand that you pay our client the sum of 100 million naira for the use of his picture. Which is the advantage, which is the average fee our client charges for his picture to be used for adverts and promotion. Both, com both companies have 14 working days to meet his demand or both companies have 14 working days to meet his demand, or the matter will be taken to court. The notice read. Oh my god. Oga Sabinus gave the firm a two-week ultimatum to pay the money. Homo. He be like, say everybody will start this content creation and comedy. But way too, come to think of it, nah, for Nigeria, mental, emotional, psychological trauma. Uh, left to me, I believe. Now, nah, Uibo people, they get that kind of problem. You know, now nah, Uibo people, then go small thing like this, then go down the cry. Say, ah, you know, make sense. Then don't cheat them. Then don't then do not do this, 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 that, 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 and all would not. Sabino don't foreign. Sabino's not really foreign now to an extent. Well, the guy has always been calling himself an investor and he has been making serious money from the online content he's been creating. A lot of people will think what Sabinus have done is being greedy because normally Nigeria people don't really regard their copyright content as something important because of the high level of piracy. Anybody feed carry your work do. Waiting people they do for Alaba market now, practically the example of copyright infringement and piracy. So now, the kind money we Sabinus don't slam on pig milk and gala. For normal Nigerian, they will think ah, he's supposed to be very happy that these companies are actually using his stuff or his intellectual property. But to be very honest with you guys, out there, people value the properties very, 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 very well. The intellectual property, it amounts to a lot of money. You know, people that watch Sabinus uh, comedy skits believe in him they believe in his brand so for those companies to use anything from Sabinus all the followers are, of Sabinus are likely to purchase those products because they've used something from Sabinus left to me those companies should quietly and calmly oblige they should pay Sabinus before this thing gets to the court because they would really pay through their notes it's a very, very wrong thing to do. At least now that one of Nigeria's skit maker is actually talking, I believe these companies will start respecting intellectual property. If they want to use it, they should at least seek for consent. Had it been they seek for consent, possibly Sabinus wouldn't have charged them to that level. But now they have played the wrong card and is actually playing against them. What do you think, guys? Do you think Sabinus is being greedy for demanding one point something billion naira? For compensation or do you think he's being right and what do you think about pig milk company do you think they played the wrong card or you think they are right i want you guys to get into the comment section and tell me how you feel about this i want you to tell me what you think is the right thing to be done right now that he has served them a pre-lawsuit order to pay that money should they pay or not Abi should Sabinus just forgive them, being an investor that he is. You guys should drop me to the comment section. Let's have a very decent conversation. Please, no cause words. No, no cause words. Don't say anything that will hurt anybody. Just give your candid opinion. Let's have a discussion. Drop into the comment section. And don't forget to click on the video up here to watch the next video I have for you. Do have a nice time and please don't leave without subscribing. Like this video and share it to all your social media platforms.
Peace.